Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, quadratic equation a square minus a minus 1 equal to 0. And now we are going to find the value of uh, a power 6 and make sure that a is uh, greater than 0. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, given quadratic equation. And here I have copied it down. And now we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. And here's the quadratic formula that we will be using. And here we can see our a value is 1, b value is negative 1, and c value is negative 1. And now let's go ahead and substitute these values in this quadratic formula for a, b, and c. So our a is going to be equal to minus and b is negative 1 plus r minus square root of b square in our case is negative 1 square minus 4 times a is 1 c is negative 1 all over divided by 2 times 1 let's go ahead and simplify furthermore so a is going to be negative and negative is going to give us positive 1 plus r minus square root of negative 1 square is 1 and then this negative and negative is going to become positive 4 times 1 is 4 everything is divided by 2 times 1 is 2 and now since we are dealing with the two signs positive and negative let's go ahead and split them so therefore we are going to get a equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and the other value is going to be a equal to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. And now we can see that this value of a is positive whereas this value of a is negative and we know that a is supposed to be positive. Therefore we are going to reject this value of a and we are going to accept this value of a. And this value of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 is called golden ratio. And here's our next step. Now we are going to find the value of a power 6. And now let's focus on this quadratic equation. And here I have copied it down. And let's go ahead and move this negative a and negative 1 on the other side. So this is going to give us a square equals to a plus 1. And now let's go ahead and take a cube on both sides. Cube on the left hand side and power 3 on the right hand side as well. And now let's recall this power rule of exponents. So the left hand side could be written as a power. We are going to multiply these exponents. So that's going to give us a power 6 equals to and now let's recall this cubic identity a plus b whole power 3 we are going to apply on the right hand side of this equation and if we call this as our a and this is our b then our right hand side could be written as a power 3 plus 3a square times 1 plus 3a times 1 square plus 1 power 3. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number 1. Now we are going to manipulate this a power 3. So therefore let's focus on this our given equation. And here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and move this uh, negative a and negative 1 on the right hand side. So therefore this is going to become a square equals to a plus 1. Now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by a. I left, multiply left hand side and multiply a on the right hand side as well. So the left hand side is going to give us a times a square is uh, a power 3 equals to when we distribute this thing that is going to give us a square plus a 
now I am going to replace this a power 3 in this equation 1 by this a square plus a. So therefore our this equation is going to become a power 6 equal to, I am going to replace this one by this a square plus a and I am going to leave everything is as it is plus 3a square plus 3a plus 1. Now let's go ahead and simplify furthermore. So a power 6 is going to be, let's combine the like terms, a square plus 3a is going to give us 4a square and this is going to give us plus 4a and then plus 1. Now let's focus on this a square. We are going to manipulate this one. So therefore let's go ahead and focus on this given quadratic equation and here I have copied it down and let's go ahead and move this negative a and negative 1 on the other side. We are going to get a square equals to a plus 1. Now I am going to replace this a square by this a plus 1. So therefore our this equation is going to become a power 6 equals to 4 times a square, I am going to replace it by a plus 1. So let me go ahead and write down a plus 1 and then plus 4a and then plus 1. Now let's go ahead and distribute this one 4. So we are going to get a power 6 equals to 4a plus 4 plus 4a plus 1. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number 2. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and plug it in this a value that we figured out uh, over here in this equation 2. And here's our equation 2. Let's go ahead and fill in the blank. So a power 6 is going to be 8 times a value in our case is 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and then plus 5. Now let's go ahead and reduce this thing. 2 goes into 8 4 times. So therefore our a power 6 value turns out to be 4 times 1 plus square root of 5 plus 5. Let's go ahead and distribute this one. So a power 6 is going to be 4 plus 4 times square root of 5 plus 5 and now let's go ahead and combine the like terms. So a power 6 is going to be 9 plus 4 times square root of 5 and here's our final answer. And if we put this one in a decimal form, so a power 6 turns out to be approximately equal to 17.944. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.